Alright guys, and we are back. Today's review is of the GOAT. Yeah! RDA, RSA, done by some fella called Grim Green and Homeboy MC. We all know who Grim Green and Homeboy OC is. So, yeah, we're gonna head down, have a look at the GOAT. Yeah! And see what's in the box, what it comes with, and then head back up top and give you my afterthoughts. So, see you in a sec. Let's do this. Alright, guys, so the box. Picture of the RDA, GOAT, greatest of all time. Top of the box, Grim Green's logo. Side of the box, nothing. Own boy, OC's logo on the bottom. Nothing on the other side. On the back, I'll zoom in so you can see what's in the box. One GOAT base, AFC top cap, 810 drip tip. 122 gauge call head reading 0.13 on the ohms and a 24 gauge call head reading 0.19 ohms. Bit of information to what the calls are. Anarchist wire. Now we get to the real deal. This is obviously the packaging. So just move the top out of the way for a second. What you get in the packaging. You do get your call heads. I'll take them, take one out of the packet in a minute. But you do get two. There's, there's both of them. You get your RDA, which is a tight little bastard in the box. I put the RDA to one side. In the packaging, which we're going to have to take the foam out. This is really, really cramped. It's got tight packaging and everything else. But you do get a little baggy with just O-rings in it. So, not really important, but obviously it's always good to have extra O-rings. Now, we're going to have a look at the RDA itself. Well, it's not an RDA, it's a DA. Is it a DA? I don't know, there's so many different names people are calling it. RDA, RSA, Rebuildable Squonking Out. It's not... It's, it's like a DA because it's not really rebuildable. Obviously you've got your 810 drip tip on top. But we'll take the top cup off first. It is slightly domed. Not majorly domed, it is slightly domed. Your airflow does twist at the top. So you can cut it all the way down. But it opens on one side. I assume this... Yeah, so that's open. That way is closed. I do assume with this, I'll zoom in a little bit more so you can see better, that they're going to be releasing like a single coil deck, because obviously it's got a single coil slot, uh, hole, slot. Obviously a picture of the goat, push the drip chip out, is 810, and your goon drip chips and everything else will fit on that, the ones without the rings, O-rings on them. The top cap itself. Obviously it's got O-ring, it's got three air holes, obviously for dual and for a single coil. That's why I'm assuming that they're going to be making a single coil head for it. Obviously that just pushes in. Now obviously I got black because the stainless steel was out of stock. So it's one of them. But yeah, that, that's literally the top cap and the drip tip. Now we'll have a look at the coils. Now it should say, now I don't know myself because obviously this is out of the box down cam. Just so it, everything is nice and clean for obviously review purpose. But obviously the full review, my thoughts and everything now. So I'll be testing this for around about a week. But I can't see no markings on here. Saying which coils what. Obviously you've got anarchist written on the top. These holes here at the top they for you squonking, which we're gonna talk about in a second when we head back up top. Something that I'm not a big fan of. Obviously these do come already cotton installed. You can replace the cotton. I'm not going to for the purpose of this video because I haven't used them. But there's no. 
Uh, there's a camera picking that up. There's just no way of telling which call is what. Now, 22 gauge and 24 gauge. Obviously, one's going to be thinner and one's going to be thicker. But putting them next to each other, I'd say that's the 24 gauge, which is what we're going to use anyway. But just like a little stamp marking on where uh, the hole is for squonking mode. Just something on there saying which gauge it is would have been nice. Unless I'm missing something, I really can't see anywhere where it says what gauge wire it is. Or is that 20? Did that say 22? That one must be 24. Oh yeah, M my mistake. This is 22 gauge. It's just there, as you can see, just there. 2 2, 22 gauge. Now, putting the coil to one side or the head, that is the deck. Grim and Boy OC. More Grim, Boy OC. And all you do is you just get that on and reverse thread till it catches, and then you just twist it. Got quite a bit of thread on it, and obviously, you'll tuck your wicks in which have i got my tweezers i don't think i've got my tweezers but basically you'll just tuck in both sides give it a little bit of a cut and a rake personally i think the cotton's a bit too long but it's down to each individual it's better to have too much of cotton than it is too less but that's about it obviously when you squonk obviously i'm not going to squonk on top of the g-class because it doesn't squonk your juice will come out of there straight on top of your coil and it's on both sides so there's one there and one there but yeah let's head back up top and obviously this will be a week in the future and i'll give you my thoughts so yeah let's head up top see you in a sec so what do i think of it um all in all it's very goon esque on the airflow I will say that the pros and cons of it well before we get on to pros and cons the build quality is fantastic problem main problems that I'm having with this the 510 stud that's in the actual 510 itself is hollow ready for squonking now although the squonk holes are at the top so they go over the coil when you squonk if you over drip there is a chance of juice going back down the holes and then onto your 510 if you're not using squonk mod. So I'm not a big fan of that at all. But again, these are just my opinions. Flavour on it, fantastic flavour. The coils, I don't know what cotton they're using, but the cotton has like zero breaking. So that's a bonus. The flavour is great. Very goon-esque, as I've already said. Airflow, which that helps the flavour. I've always thought the goon was great for flavour um, the cons of it the 510 again is a contradiction the airflow for me I've had to dial it down to halfway or just under halfway or just over halfway I can't have it fully open it is far too airy for my liking the fact that you've put on different 810s that's a bonus is it the greatest of all time, i.e. GOAT, greatest of all time? Is it the greatest of all time? For this style, yes. I think there's two or three other designs that have been done beforehand. That one here, this is better than the other two. Is it the? Is it an RDA? Is it a RSA? It's not rebuildable because you can't put your own coils in there, but you can put your own cotton in there. So... It's, it's one of them. It's a bit of a weird one. Is it an RDA? Is it not? Personally, I'm going to say it's not an RDA. Bonus of it, if you have dexterity problems with your hands and you can't put coils in normal RDAs, I think the heads on this work because they just screw on and boom, job's a good one. So I think that's a, a big pro in my opinion. But the biggest con for me would have to be that 510. I'd love to have seen a solid 510 pin in the packaging as well as the hollowed one. Just in case you don't want to use it on a squonk mod. 
But all in all, I mean, I've had this testing for a little over a week. And I haven't changed the cotton. Obviously, it's starting to brown off now as the camera picks that up. Can you pick that up or not? Yeah, the coils and the cotton are starting to brown off now. But, as you can see, with that hole on top, I'm just going to squonk a little bit. You can see the juice coming out. So, if you over drip, then it could go back into the holes. But then again, it might not because it's not really the deepest depth to drip or squonk on. It will flood if you over squonk. There's no suck back feed on it. Which, to be fair, they could have added in like two holes at the bottom just to suck it back in but it's going green and own oh boy so as much as i have huge respect for them this isn't particularly one of my favorite rdas even though i've said it's not an rda it's like a contradiction is it isn't it some people say it is because even changing the top is rebuilding it to me, you're not rebuilding the coils, so therefore it's not an RDA. So it's just one of them. But as much as it's got pros to it and as much as it's got cons to it, the flavour is what's winning me over on this. Where the air hole is, I think that could have been higher up the coils, could have been positioned a bit higher as well, so you can squonk freely and not really mind that much of how much you're squonking because as soon as you over squonk you will get spit back now as you can see there's i've just showed you when i squonked there's a bit of juice in the well but as soon as you fire it that pop in that because it's, because it's over squonked it, the juice is basically boiling on the coil so again it's not a big wow factor for me another big problem i've got i have to use my fucking tweezers to get the deck off because there's no locking cap on the top cap so it just spins freely so again that's another con now i've literally squonked as i showed you i haven't squonked again and this is what i mean by over squonking the top of the top side is literally wet so it's one of them now i know i'm going to get a load of juice over me on this by showing you but that is the bottom i didn't show you in the up and closely down below type thing but that is the bottom of the deck you got the goat and the serial number but that is the hollow 510 and I'd just love to see a solid one. Now, people have said, now obviously I haven't watched no reviews on this whatsoever, but people have said on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram that the dead goat cap, which is basically just a dead rabbit top cap, that when you buy that top cap, it comes with a solid 510 pin. So there we go. And I, I know I'm a bit late to the party with this. That there are people that have done reviews on this I think the start of this year when it first came out now I don't usually watch reviews especially if I'm going to get the item in for review because I don't want to sway my opinion all in all would I recommend this RDA RSA goat thing I can't really call it a thing I can't call it an RDA so would I recommend the goat if you have dexterity problems, yes, because it's easy to just screw the top on, cut the cotton, tuck it in, boom, jobs are good. And if you're a normal everyday vapor and you can put your own coils in, no, I wouldn't recommend it. And I know I'm going to probably get a bit of backlash for saying I wouldn't recommend it because of all the Boom Green fans, if you like, his followers. Now, I'm only being honest. I'm only giving my honest opinions. I, I have nothing against Boom Green. I have nothing against own boy i have huge respect for them follow them on all social media and stuff try and catch the lives and like that but i'm just being honest and if i can't be honest then there's no point in me sitting in front of a camera to put videos out and that's why i say i try and be as honest as i can saying that i've got one i've used it solidly every day for the last just over a week now 
So it's becoming my everyday setup with the top side. Now, obviously, I've got the gold um, drip tip, which came with the cowpea. Okay, both with the cowpea. But that's because I've been rocking it on a different top side. I've been rocking it on the special edition or limited edition, the gold and black, which is coming up for review very soon. So I wanted a bit of matchy matchy, black and gold, whatever. But anyway, getting back to it, would I recommend it? If you've got dex dexterity problems, yes, I would. If you're an everyday builder, I wouldn't. But if you've got the money to do it and you're tempted to see how it is, by all means, I'm not saying don't go and buy it, but I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying, personally, for an everyday vapor, I don't think it would be suited for them. People with dexterity problems, it, it's more suited for them. But all in all, it's not bad. It's not the greatest piece of all time for me. But yeah, I've been honest, as always. I've been TBD. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't liked the video, give me a thumbs down. If you want to see more content and so forth, give me a subscribe or don't. Totally up to you. I'm not going to pressure anybody into doing whatever. But yeah, I've been TBD. Till the next one. Take it easy.